Hello, my friends. What's up? It's Sam I am. I hope you all are doing well. I myself fantabulistic. Yay! I really am, and I'm so excited to be here for you with you for another project. You know what I mean? It kind of got that all discombobulated. Anyway, look, I have a lot of stuff before you. Let's go ahead and break it down. First things first. This was gifted to me from Crassfire. They wanted me to use this with you guys, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna add a little bit to it just to show how you can use this in multiple ways. First, it's a box with a lid. And see, nicely open. And it comes with the form, so it will stay as a nice straight box. So all you do is pull these pieces out like this. I feel like my goggles are squeezing my eyeballs out of my face today. <laughs> if y'all don't know, I had to start wearing goggles when working with the resin because it was really messing my eyes up. So now I have to wear like these sexy goggles. And it feels like it's squeezing my brain out today. Mm, come on. Okay. Well, that makes it kind of look worse. Well, I guess the resin will hold it out. That's what it is. The resin will hold it out. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I, look, I did two videos yesterday. One of them came out, which was the owl. The other one was with my new little sea turtle mold. How cute. And he came out adorable. Well, when I did it, I used these chameleon flakes that I got from Let's Resin. And I was giving y'all an honest opinion on it. I, I, it was not a good one. It really wasn't. But because it, during my recording, editing, and all that garbage that I always fluster with and normally lose a video or two trying to fix it, I lost the video. So I'm going to redo the video where I'm showing you how I use these flakes. That, in my personal opinion, is not a good one. But I'm leaving it up to you because the colors from it are magnificent. They really are. And if it wasn't in the house, I would go get it and show it to you. But I don't feel like moving. I've mixed up my resin, so we've got to move right on along. What we're going to do is fill this one, the box. The box and... I'm sorry, I got something on this mold. Nope, it's just a scratch. Um, we're going to put on this box the chameleon flakes, the color brown yellow on the box. Then I am going to do the little turtle. This is how I did him yesterday. Um, the violet aqua as his body. And then, no, I didn't. I used the green with that because it, and it turned out fabulous. Lime blue is what I used. Lime blue for his body. And then his little flippers, I used violet blue. So that's what we're going to do for him. Now for these little seats, oh, because once he's done, I am gonna put him on top of the box. So he's gonna sit on top of the box. And then I'm gonna put some of these seashells, seashells around him on the top of the box. So we're gonna fill them with some of these uh, flakes as well. And then we are gonna come back behind it and use our, uh, hold on, let me show you your, ow. Oh, I just hit my knees. Suko Blue from Eye Candy. This is a pigment piece. That just makes everything look so fabulous. Okay, so let's get Dustin. First things first. No, 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 no. Hold on. Put the brakes on real quick. Because one of the things I did learn yesterday, this right here is a must. When you're working with these flakes. That is no doubt because they are a nightmare of a mess. I'm not lying. If I'm lying, I'm dying. Because I don't know me and my mess. I can't handle it. It stressed me out. I just don't think that they're... You'll see. You'll see. And I'll give... Don't want my opinion to mess your opinion up. Just if you're particular like me, you'll probably have the same feelings. And put them there. Okay, here's the box. 
in the lid and put Mr. Turtle over there. And I shall call him Arthur. Because my son always had turtles when we were growing up. We'd bring them from Lake Gaston to home, which we live on the same kind of water as um, Lake Gaston, I think. They live, they, they survive, same kind of water. So we'd bring them here, Brayden would have them for a day or two, and then he would be released in the backyard. Well, they were always called Arthur. Now, let me tell you, these days, we got a lot of big Arthurs. That's probably why we don't have any baby ducks anymore, but that's also probably why we don't see a lot of snakes. So, okay, here we go. I'm gonna let y'all see. I'm using a regular brush. There's the flakes. Watch. Oh, it's not doing it. Yesterday I did it. It's like, there it goes. See? See how it's like magnet electricity, static electricity? Look, isn't that nuts? I don't know, I just think it's, all right, here you go, y'all. You're gonna see me dust this. I hope this works down in there. I don't know if it's gonna work down in there. Maybe I need, oh, you know what? I got a bigger brush. <laughs> this is a job for the big boy. I'll use it all on this box, which is fine with me. Get it over with, but it doesn't look like it's gonna go on there very well. Here, I'll just do this. And I will gladly use it all up. Just put it down in there with your big brush. And just brush it in. It's just messy, y'all. It's just really, really messy. And, I mean, I think it's beautiful results. And y'all see, I just, to me, I, I don't think it outweighs the mess that it makes. I really don't. because I think you can find a chameleon powder that is not as messy to do the same look. But hey, y'all order them, you tell me. You come back and tell me what you think. <laughs> We're just flying everywhere. This is weird. They the static electricity in them. It just sucks right to the mold, to the brush. See that? Hold on, I'm gonna bring it up there so y'all can see it. We'll put it on the brush, okay? Now watch. Why does it not do it when I bring it up here to show y'all? Oh, cause you know why? I've already, uh, if it's been dusted there, it doesn't have the static electricity to it anymore. Oh man, I should've showed y'all sh sooner. See how it sucks down in there? Look, cause there's no, I don't know if y'all could see it or not. Believe me, trust me, I shall not tell a lie. It's just weird. It doesn't obey orders very well. It's like, it's going where you don't want it already. Just not easy to work with. And that's like half the battle, right? If not the whole battle. All right, let's do the lid. I can really see what it looks like. If it's gonna be nice or what. I'm wondering if I should do a different color on the inside of the box. Oh, man. instead of the blue, like maybe do black, so it'll be a difference. So what do y'all think about flakes? Have y'all used them before? Do you like them? Do you have these at home? Am I just not doing them right? Are they just supposed to be put in resin and poured? I wouldn't think so because it's kind of like a waste, I think. All right, I think I've got this as good as I can get it. We're gonna roll with it anyway. 
see what happens. Yes, we will. And all this mess. Come on, suck up to the brush. Okay, so that's ready to be poured. Okie doke. Now, oh, let me get that off. Alright, so let's do these little doodads. This is pink and olive. I mean, I honestly can't tell a whole difference of the colors when they're in the finished piece. This, I might be able to tell a little different. I don't see the blue, obviously. I don't know. I'll let y'all be the judge of it. I'm just sharing my opinion so far. Or that I already got. Had this little mold a long time when I used to make UV resin jewelry. Got that one done. Now I'm not sure which ones I'm going to use. We'll see which one looks the best. We'll just do them all. And this one looks pretty. Oh, what's the name of this one? This one is Pink Olive. So it's June 1st. Can y'all believe it? I mean, it is the middle of 2023 already. That's just crazy. I mean, that's just crazy. I know your elders always said, time flies. You better enjoy it while you can. And they're right. Because I'm an elder now and I'm going to tell y'all the same thing. You better take advantage of every day. Because... Number one, my instance, things can change just like that in an instant, and your life is totally different. I mean, I became disabled at 32 years old. I was in my prime. Best job of my life. And um, bam. And here I am 10 years later, disabled, doing a therapeutic hobby to keep my mind from going crazy. With you, fine friends, that's the best part, is you. I would just rather be doing the best job I ever had, which was working in the court system, the local court system. I was always involved in the legal field from the time I was 17 and worked my way up. And then, um, yeah, one simple dental procedure changed the course of my life forever. Okay, so that's that. And we're done with all that story. That was just happened to come out while we were talking all right so this one again is violet blue and lime blue is going on his body yeah because i'm gonna do his head. let me do that first so i can get that down in there in his head this is the violet blue it doesn't look like i used any of this so maybe this isn't what i used yesterday but see look it's hard to get it in there up to it without it being sucked away or the static electricity watch now y'all can see this really good watch See it? Y'all see it sucking it up to it? Isn't that crazy? That's nerve-wracking. I mean, because look, now all that color's down in there that I didn't want. Look, I'm just holding it above and it's sucking out of the jar. Ugh. This was like what it was like the whole time yesterday. So I just have to put extra in there because I don't know if it's making it or not. I mean, because you look down in there, it doesn't look like there's a single thing in there. I mean, nothing. I'm trying. All right, let's do his body. Just 
doesn't work good, y'all. Does not work good. It's a struggle. And I consider myself a pretty seasoned resin artist. And it's just difficult. Y'all tell me, have y'all seen other people use them? What was their results? Did they like them? Did you like them? Did you use them? There's no way anybody could possibly like this. I mean, if you don't use them on silicone, that then what do you use it on? You know? Mess factor is what that is. See why I put down the bacon paper, parchment paper, whatever it is. I mean, I used the whole jar on daggling one turtle. One little four and a half inch turtle. And he is so cute, y'all. I really like him. I'm not too happy with how the parts on his arms are. I'm going to have to do some sanding on it. Y'all see what I'm talking about when it comes out. It's like his fin is here and then there's a piece where to make him sit flat instead of just depending on his belly to hold him flat. It's got pieces under the flippers or fins, whatever you call those things. You'll see. It's hard to describe. Okay, I have made a complete mess, and I think we've made enough mess. I was going to show you all these other ones that I got. Oh, my God. These I got from Just For You Online UK. Look at these. They're pretty. I don't want to get them on anything, but look. They're pretty. Again, mess. Mess. Then I got these I haven't used yet. Ooh, got to really be careful with them. Those are from Rebel Glitters from Just For You Online UK. So, I mean, if it's your thing, it's your thing. If it's not, it's not. It's not mine. So, we will pour our little resin in here and see what happens. I'm going to go ahead and stir up some. I have mixed up 12 ounces of ClearCast 7000 from the Epoxy Resin Store. It's been sitting over here degassing for a little while. I always warm my part A by itself. Sometimes, depending on, I might put them together, but that's after I've already put part A on my resin curing plate. Part A has been there about 30 minutes, so it's really liquidy. And then I put it in with my part B slowly. This is this is how fast I stir. I stir. Just like this. I, and I'll be doing things with my left hand while I'm just doing this. This is how I start. And I, my part A has already gotten really liquefied. So I have eliminated as many bubbles as I possibly can. Okay. Just my suggestions, y'all. Okie dokie. Stir this up. Stinky, stinky stuff. You don't need a lot. It's really pigmented. Stick it in and stir it up. This is, uh, let's see. This is eight, this is four ounces of the 12, right? I said 12, yeah, I made 12 and it's at eight. And a beautiful blue. Oh yeah, so was I gonna do something different beside, behind that instead of the blue? Hmm, I could do black. What color did I use? I used gold olive. I could use dark gold. Hmm, I'll do that. I'll use dark gold. We'll see what happens. All right, here's Mr. Turtle. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 
there's no way to squeeze it, so I've got to make sure this is wiped off really good. I just stick this down in there to squirt, squiggle out any air bubble that might be up there in his head. Very important. You don't want an air big air bubble where his head's supposed to be. All right, so now I have all this, so I am going to do the box in blue. I mean, it only makes sense. It'll be fine. Looks like I'm gonna have enough resin to do a whole nother project. I'm off my game these days, y'all. Y'all know that. But that's okay, it's temporary. Temporary insanity. Everybody has it every now and then. Not the first time, won't be the last. I'm sure. It'd be nice if it was the last, but that's not how life is, is it? We just talked about it. Now look, y'all, I might not have enough for all this. <gasps> that's not gonna be good. Ugh. That means I'll have to come back, do the lid by itself. Uh, I hate it when things don't happen right. But they do go right sometimes, so. You have to take the good with the bad, right? Right. And only get upset about the stuff you cannot control. I mean, don't get upset about the stuff you can't control. You don't want to put dirty um, stick in your product. I mean, I don't. I just think you treat it like your cosmetics. Okay. I'm gonna get another little helping. Stick in it. And this blue is very pretty, I think. need to remember to use it more often instead of just as a filler behind chameleon powder. Yeah, so this is the cool box from Craspire that they gifted me. I will have it linked down in the description for you to go get one yourself and use my coupon code. Can you see it? Yeah. They have great, great molds on there, y'all. There's like 40 pages of molds to look at. So, and they have some of the same stuff that Tamu has. And, you know, if you've ordered from Tamu, then you don't have another coupon code. You only get to use it one time. And that's your first purchase. So, um, you can go to Crass Buyer, find that mold. Look at that. Not enough for the daggone box, but not the lid. If I didn't do the turtle, no, there's not enough there. This just not enough. So, that stinks, doesn't it? Hmm. Ooh, you know what? I just had a brain thought. Check this out. What if, because this will be the very bottom, right? And this will be the top. What if I did that in the gold, like I was talking about, backing it with gold? Then that would be like a gold lid and a gold bottom. And he will, the blue, he'll be off the blue, he'll be on gold. Maybe that happened for a reason. I think that looks, sounds fabulous. So I've got to mix up some more resin. Uh, try and clean up something. I don't know. I don't think I can right now. I can't move nothing. Um, let me pop some bubbles, y'all. Now, your choice, you can use 99% isopurple alcohol or... You could carefully, from a distance, use your torch carefully because it's right under there, the silicone. All right, so I will put you on hold. I'm going to mix up some more resin and I'll be back. Okay, friends, I'm back. I did a couple things. 
First of all, I emptied what was in the turtle into the bottom of the box. It would have been cool to do the bottom gold, but I didn't think about it. I have to let that cure and then put the gold on. So we don't have that kind of time. We want it to get done. So I poured that blue in there. So because there would have been, even though it wasn't much time, but there would have been a difference in the curing time from the part that we had already put in. And then for me to come back in and put just that small amount, it might jack something up. So I didn't want to do that. I figured I'd dump the turtle in there and it worked out perfect. That brought it right up to level. So now I was going to do this in the gold, but I thought about it. Since this isn't going to be done, I'm just going to do that in blue as well. And my little turtle, of course, back in blue. I have mixed up six more ounces. In here, I've only put in three ounces. And, um, or did I do eight ounces? I did. I did eight ounces. My apologies. So, um, I have five in here. Because I kind of wanted, there's already 12 in the box, in the bottom. So, I want to kind of give you an idea of exactly how much this box takes. And when it's done, I have a new digital scale because I, you know, I told y'all I um, resin the buttons on my other one. So I will weigh it when it's finished and we will know exactly how many ounces we need for this box. But this looks like to be about 14 is going to be my guess because that's 12. And then, oh, no, wait a minute. Nope, nope, nope. There was five in here. So I'd say there's about one and a half left. So that's three and a half. So I'm going to say roughly 15 ounces to fill this box, which seems like a lot. So I am not going to trust my math. I will go back and review the tape and get the weight, the scale out and we'll weigh it just to verify how much it is indeed weighs and how much you have to use to fill it up. Man, it would have been enough, nice if we'd had enough in here to finish Mr. Arthur. But we don't. We have to do our seashells anyway. So let's put some more in there. We'll go ahead and use the last three ounces. I'll find something to make blue. You know I always do. There is always a mold that can be filled, right? I just leave one sitting over here to the side. I'll add a little bit to it until it gets full. I'm sure y'all do the same thing. You have to because resin is expensive as crap. And it's just getting worse. I, I, I hate to mention it, but I mentioned it before. I don't know how many I'll be able to bring videos. I'll be able to bring you guys a week here soon because it's just it's getting costly that you know it's just getting costly so I don't know how many videos I'll be able to do a week I will do as many as I can because y'all know this is my therapeutic hobby that keeps me sane so I will do my best to be bring as many as I can but yeah so we'll see what happens is there enough blue left in here to make this blue? No. Wipe this off. I was, I was going through some of my, uh, colors that I have and I have some micas that I'm not going to use I have them and I didn't know if anybody would be interested in getting them from me you know I'll send them if you would be interested in it if there's a lot of interest in it then I can come up with a way to fairly you know maybe do a contest or something I don't know so I'm reaching out to you guys in the comments is that something you would I mean or and of course, I'm not sending you garbage or half empty micas. They're just jars that, you know, I mean, I've got probably, I'm looking at a box of, you know, they're this size. There's a box of, I think, 25. And then I've got another box that's got like 20 in it. So, you know, we could be more than glad, you know, to work something out. Of course, I can't pay for the postage for everybody's, but... I can figure something out if there's an interest for it. I just hate to see them sitting over there 
going to waste. I'd like to say that I'm going to use them, but I don't foresee myself using them. And I don't know if they ever go bad. Probably not. But, hey, it's my way of reaching out to you guys. Let me know. We'll figure something out. Because, again, I know everything costs a lot. And maybe it'll help somebody out. Which is what I'm all about, if I can do it. Why not? Why not help a friend? Right? Because, you know, when it's all said and done, when it's time to meet, when it's time to go, whatever, you know, your last days on earth, what really matters is not how much is in your bank account, but how many friends you've touched made, the people you know, the family that you've loved, nurtured, been with, enjoyed. That's what matters. Not the single damn dollar that's in your wallet. You still need the dollars in your wallet to make the world go around, but that's not what matters. Some people think that's what matters, but it's not. Fill him up. Yeah, yeah, I like this blue. I told y'all that last time. Or a minute ago. These little teeny tiny ones, they are so tiny. Those are uh, for earrings. Not, I don't, I have not done any jewelry in epoxy. I used to do it in UV resin, but well, what the heck happened over here? What did I do? How the heck? Look at that. What am I just sticking my arm in it all over here while I'm talking? Oh my gosh, I got a whole mess all over me, y'all. Look, all over me. What did I do? Are y'all see? can y'all see it on film and I can't? I wish y'all could see it. Look, it's all over me. And I mean, I got a mess over here. How in the heck did I do that? What did I do? I'm going to see it on film, aren't I? On the video. Y'all let me clean up because I can't do much right this second. Sorry. I mean, I got it all over my shirt. Which is a painter shirt. I have so many painter shirts now. I have to... Make sure I look down to see what I'm wearing before I come out and mess with anything. And verify that it is indeed old clothes. Because I'll just come out here just to do one thing. And then, before you know it, I'm into it. And then I'm in it. Literally. So, I have to be very precautious when I'm running out of t-shirts to mess up. I don't want to mess up anymore. I like my t-shirts. Okay. I'm going to clean everything up. Let's clean these up. <laughs> I can't wait to see what in the world I did. I would have thought I could have felt it, but I didn't. Okay. Oh, that one's kind of overflowed up there. Is that better? That one is a little overflow in there. How's that? And it still looks like it's overflowing. There. Is that better? I'm going to be messing up now. Little ones. I have a hard time with little molds. I just, I do better with big molds. These are so teeny, but they're really cute. I, I did. I used them in jewelry. I did. I could think of a. 
I made a beautiful um, uh, hair barrette for like a uh, wedding, wedding colors, beach colors. Well, obviously it's the beach, duh. No, um, like for a wedding is what it was. Really pretty colors. And I hope that a beautiful bride wore them. Well, I'm sure it was a beautiful bride. I hope that that's what they were purchased for. Could have been a prom. Could have been a beautiful prom. Lady, girl, prom girl. All right, guys. Oh, man. Look what I did. I was rolling. How in the world? All right, y'all. I'm going to put y'all on hold. I'm going to put these on the resin curing plate. I think I can get them all in there. I'll find something for that. But we got to do this. Close your eyes. All right, all right, all right, all right. We have everything poured. And you know what? I never said, let's get this pouring party started. I never said it, so there I said it. We started it. Now we're going to get it cured up and reveal it in just a short time because the resin curing plate is like magic. Magic, magic, magic. It sure is. So I'll put y'all on hold. I'll be back when everything's ready to be unmolded. Hello, it's only been a couple of hours, but I'm back and I have our pieces, but Houston, we had a problem. I put them on the resin curing plate. That's why we look at our box. It got wonky and I'm guessing it's just doesn't like the heat. It doesn't want to be, and I didn't have it on high, high. So it just didn't like it. I don't know what dog hair on there for. So, um, yeah, this is mine, so I'll be able to deal with it. But in the future, I won't use it on the resin curing plate. I think anything that is required to be in a form must mean there's, you know, you got to have, um, why'd that feel sticky right there? Yeah, I, I just don't think it's a good idea. Don't put it on the resin curing plate. Let it do its thing naturally. I think I got something sticky on my finger. I do. <laughs> I touch this piece that's on the resin curing plate now, and it's a thin piece. So at the thicker part, it felt fine, and I just went to put my hand on there, and dad won't find it and stick right to it. Like, I should have known better than that. Okay, so let's check it out. Let's see what we got. See how these flakes that are not fun turned out. Oh no, that's the top. That looks terrible. That's okay. That's okay. We have learned what to do next time. Mm -hmm. Come on. Mm -hmm. There. I don't know whether I should store with or without the thing. I'm thinking without. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll put it over here and do that in a minute. Actually, I'm gonna do it right now. Thank you. I appreciate your patience there for, oh, they're all sticky and just stuck to my arm. I don't know what the deal is. I think I touched too much stuff out here a minute ago because everything it seems like I touch is sticky. So, I mean, All stuck everywhere. Sorry, y'all. I, I hate to interrupt our unveiling, but I can't stand that. This stuck to me. Okay. So here we go. Let's get this out. I bet this is not going to be fun. I swear, everything feels sticky. Man, that looks like crap how it did that. I hope maybe I can clip it off. You know? All right, I got to bring it back here. easy to get off like this. Here we go. But I don't want y'all to see, so y'all just gotta wait. I'm gonna do it by myself. It's not hard, actually. 
It's just got a little suction to it. I don't like the flakes on it. I don't like the flakes on it. Because you can't get enough of the surface. You know what I mean? And this... I mean, I guess... At least the yucky is on the inside of this and the bottom I can trim that see I could trim that and yeah it's a little wavy right there but hey he's got a uh, turtle on top so that's why he's a little wavy he's catching the wave so yeah I'll take my little um these doodads my fingernail clippers and I'll go around and clip 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 and then if it need be I'll hit it with a little nail file so let's check out our little Mr. Arthur. The other one I did in the flakes turned out gorgeous. So let's hope this one turns out just as pretty. Pull that out. And out pops his little head. Look. And he's sweet. See, this is the part I was talking I didn't like on the mold. See how it's underneath his fin? You got this. So, number one, it's sharp. It just looks ugly, I think. So, I'm thinking I am going to get all this removed off of it and make it real pretty. And then I'm going to make my own mold of Mr. Arthur. Yep. Yes, I am. But see, with he's like this, he will... That's the, the one reason, I guess, that's why his feet are like that. He will sit flat on a... Oh, sit flat on the surface see but i'm cool with it being up in the air and not having anything under it you know what i'm saying that's what i would rather have so there's mr turtle on the box i don't care for the difference in the colors i like mr turtle and i like the box I don't know that I like them together, but that was the project, so that's what I'm going to do, I guess. I had him sitting here just a minute ago where everything was on there. There we go. All right, let's check out the shells. Here's the pretty little shells I made. I really, see, honestly, I can't tell the difference in all the colors. I mean, maybe you guys can. I, I really can't tell. They all look pretty shiny to me. And the blue in the background is... I mean, I guess I could tell a difference now. Okay, yeah, now I can because they all do have the blue behind them. So, yeah, I can see the difference. I just don't like them. I, I'm sorry. I don't mean to be prejudiced. Making it um, bad for you guys. I got a little overflow right there. I'll trim that off. Or maybe cover it. There you go. Never know it. So, do I want to put any on here with him? These two together here. What do y'all think? I don't want to put too much like these. little guy. You need an odd number, guys. So, these three here, and then those back there makes five. Oops. Hmm. Nothing's really jumping out at me. Nothing. 
nothing's jumping out at me. Other than him being up there by himself. I don't want any of them up there. That's what I think, y'all. What do y'all think? I'm going to put him up there. And you guys can tell me in the comments if you think I should put some of these on there. How about that? And then I will do that. Because like I said, this is going to go in my room. My little Arthur. In my wavy box. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Here's my UV resin. And you know what? I think because Arthur's a little heavy, I am going to put some E6000 on that as well. Just because. I think it's a good idea. I'm definitely going to have to buy some more of this. Pressure is stopped. And that is one thing. Every point is piece is touching the the bottom, the ground. And I, oh, oh, look at that! It landed so we didn't touch the bottom. I mean the. You know the table but as I was saying before I dropped it so each piece is actually going to be touching instead of you know how you see them where the little flippers are up in the air like if this piece wasn't there then they would be up in the air which is the way I think I would like them I'd like to have both of them so I'm gonna try my hand at making a mold I'm going to try it with, um, I did try it before. Y'all saw that. That was a disaster. So no air dry clay. I'm just going to try and make the mold the way you're supposed to make the mold. And then I think I'm going to do it with the homemade DIY silicone out of the, uh, you know, caulking type silicone. Let's see, is that there? Yep, that's right where I want them. Beautiful, Arthur. Okay. <clears throat> Again, sticky. Sorry, gang. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Just need a minute. Okay, joke. Yeah, that's much better. We'll use that. Now we're going to use this. And we are going to go around and secure Arthur. With our UV resin. I get this UV resin on Amazon. Um, I don't know how the price compares to other resins that other artists use. I know when I was looking for UV resin, it was the most affordable for me, which, you know, when you got zero, it's the closest to zero. That's the way I look at it. <laughs> so that's, um lasted me a long time this is a huge bottle and i swear i know i've had it for over a year which at the time i did uv resin jewelry and little trinkets and stuff so i don't do that anymore i just use it for things like this but i can tell you it's lasted a long time and it's good stuff my little tip And I can only tell you to check out the picture of it because if you put in UV resin on, I think, even Google, but definitely in Amazon or eBay, you'll see the picture of this and you can get it there. This is like the big gigantic 
bottle. And like I said, it's lasted a long time. Yeah, I mean, I guess the flakes would have been cool if you could cover the whole box, but you just can't get to it to do it. You know, so it's just kind of sporadic here and there. I, mean, I, I couldn't spend any more, another moment on that frustrating stuff. I was trying, y'all know I put serious patience into this. So guys, what do you think? Now's the time I ask. Do you think I did a good job? Do you think I did a good job on the video? Do you like my project? Do you like how I did the project? Do you want to give me a thumbs up? I would really appreciate it if you would. Just like it. Maybe consider subscribing. I'm at 599 subscribers. So one more and I'm at 600. Yay! I'm over the halfway point to 1,000. That's super cool. I'm very excited. I love all my friends that have subscribed. That's super, super awesome. I love it. It means I'm doing something right. 600 people think so. And I am appreciative for each and every one of those 600 people taking just one minute out of their precious time to spend it with me watching me create. How awesome is that? I mean, I just am honored, privileged, I feel very privileged. Because y'all don't have to spend your time here with me. There's a million and trillion artists out there doing their thing. But you, out of all the things you could watch, you stopped and were watching my channel. That's pretty amazing. Pretty freaking amazing. So thank you. All right, I think we got Arthur attached rather well. He's not going nowhere. Look. Cool. Now, I guess I'll put on my goggles and I'll show y'all what I'm talking about, how I'm going to trim that. But, I mean it. I mean it. I mean it. No, it's okay. Just this once. It'll be fine. No, not at all. It's not just fine. Just once. Put these on your face. Because these things shoot, and don't let anybody else be in the room with you, for real. I'm telling you, somebody's got to go blind from this, or can go blind from this. Because you're going to take this, and there's no way you can block, I mean, you could try to put your hand there, but it shoots. You know what I mean? See how it shot my hand? It could easily miss. Just have to be careful. I, I just can't stress it enough. I just ow, ow, and don't cut your finger blocking it. Holy sh. Okay, okay, okay. It didn't break blood, break the skin. Dad, one if it didn't pinch it good. So just please wear your goggles. You are beautiful. You're an artist who sees beauty. So you need your beautiful eyes. What in the world is so, oh, see, I, I just saw, heard that hit the ceiling. <gasps> it just broke it. See? Thankfully, I got another pair. I bought them in three pack. No wonder they sold them in three pack. I wonder what I did with them. Look at that. That could have shot right in your eye. Done. You've been done. So, but I got my glasses on. Oh, man, what did I do with them? I don't know. Ugh. I don't remember what I did with them, y'all. They are somewhere. But I don't remember where. Hmm. I stuck them in a good place. I was just going to recall what place that was. Okay, well, I am not going to be able to finish this with you. I'll find them on my own. But please, did I stress it enough? 
Thank you. Thank you, my friends. I love you. I love you all to see. want you all to be able to watch my channel with your beautiful eyes. So, yeah, I broke that. I mean, I broke that thing just trying to cut that. So, look, I still have that. Those pieces left to get off. There. There. And you can see how it waves. Like I said, it just can't rush it on the... Or it didn't like it when I did it on the curing plate, so... But I'll get um, the clippers, find them, trim that as best I can. If I can't, then I will um, file it. Yeah. But for right now, Arthur's got a cool box. Don't y'all see? Yay! I like it. Thank you, Crassfire, for the box mold. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Okay, guys. Um, I got a little bit of business to take care of with you, if you don't mind. I have three contests going on. I have all the details down in the description. I run through them most of the time. I'm just not going to do it this time. I'm not going to do it every time. All the details are in the description. I would love for you to take a moment to review them and get in on the action. It's just, I know your time's valuable. I already mentioned that, and I'm honored and privileged that you chose to spend some time with me. I thank you. I love you. I mean it. And I hope to see you again soon. Bye.